Yo guys, Zoli Titan, and today we are back with another FIFA video. It is 6pm on Friday the 1st of July. Shapeshifters Team 3 is out with Heroes. Uh, I don't think I went through many leagues. There's a 98 rated striker Premier League, Davi Ginola. Uh, we have Shapeshifters Cup number 2. Score 5 goals in an foot game mode. Earn a loan player, pick one of 3 Hero Shapeshifters on a 7th game loan. Oh, wow. Just win all games and you get two shapeshifters player picks. That's what this reward is. Just two shapeshifters. Win one, two E-Figs, 80 plus. Win two, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Is there anything working? Okay, there's a swap token for winning four. Nice to know. What was this? Score five goals in any game mode. You've got a lone hero. Nice. Uh, 583 plus E-Figs for nine wins. 84 plus player pick for 11. 8, eight five plus player pick for 21. So 21 wins altogether and you get two shapeshifters players. Nice. We have shapeshifters Mark Bartra. In FIF 20 he had a shapeshifters objective at a striker. This one's at left wing. This is in the life of friendly shifting shape. Shifting shape. No token which is nice so you don't have to do him. That's a really nice cut. He's Hullet Gang. Three at the back. This Can my voice stop please? Three at the back. This card's decent. Assist using a league run 5, win 6, assist 4 with defenders and score 5 finesse. Let's have a look at the card. He's not going to be 3 star, 3 star in game, is it? In July, we can finally say that. It's July here. He's high medium. Is he high medium on his base? Anyway, really nice pace, really nice shooting, really nice passing. Really nice dribbling, good defending physicals. I doubt he's 3 Might be 3 star, 4 star, might be 4 star, 4 star. That's a really nice card. I still need... I've got one more game for Eri Devise and four Premier League wins. Then I've done that. Foot heroes are back and as you have never seen them before. In introducing Shapeshifters Heroes with new position changes and tailored stat boosts to match. Shapeshifters Heroes replace their base Foot Hero versions while available in packs. And a lone hero Shapeshifter play picking the Shapeshifters Cup objective now. So as we can see there, three heroes who've changed league. There's a centre-back Mario Gomez, which is, I don't... Some of them make sense, like Davi Ginola at striker and Freddy Gunberg at camp. But did Mario Gomez ever play centre-back? Hey, it's a really nice card though, 95 rated, 95 defending. Apart, he's one dribbling off. If he had one more dribbling, he'd be nine gun and gang apart from passing, which is actually a lot. Yeah, in Serie A as well. So Serie A have two centre-back heroes now. Why do I go like that? Like an anime person. Yeah, 98 rated striker Davis, you know that. With those links, Premier League and French. And those stats. Surely has to be one of, if not the best card in the game. And also Freddy Lundberg hero, which is nice. Him and Mario Gomez, bit of... A, these aren't the only ones, by the way. But him and Mario Gomez, bit of a stinker. Because they already had hero captain cards. But... Yeah, Freddie Lundberg in the MLS as well, so people care even less. Get more ways to make your club stand out with the EA Play member exclusive foot Cape Town Cheaters kit. I don't care. We're going to SPCs and we'll have a look at the team. Who's the SPC? Who's a good little SPC? Sorry, I, I won't continue with that sentence. Richarlison, now a Spurs player. It, it, it is him. Ollie's at the wheel. He's also in an SBC. Left wing and striker. Not left. That That's just not striker though, is it? Left wing cam. That's 97 rated, by the way. I've just clocked. We're getting a 97 rated hero player SBC. The only thing you can say that's bad about this is Norwegian. Okay. Three segments as well. 84 with the team of season 86 with the team of season 88. Honestly, not too bad. It's a 98 rated hero player pick. Left wing. Oh my, this card is insane. Left wing, 99 pace, 98 shooting, 94 dribbling. Come, 94 shooting, 97 passing, 90 dribbling. I think the left wing's slightly better. I think it depends, honestly, what sort of team you play. They're both very good. Shift to challenge 10 for premium election players pack. Any live content? Any end of an era, perhaps? 
No. But we'll look at the SP, the, the, the actual team now. Uh, obviously, Adam Machore out of packs. Unfortunately, we, we did not get him. But there's still the swaps token things that we can use to get him. So, the team. 98 rated Frank Ribery for some reason. At left wing. Even though he pretty much is a left wing in real life. People getting excited for Ribery, honestly, I don't really see. I, I, he was a brilliant player, don't get me wrong. But like, I don't see the need for him to be 98 rated or have a shapeshifters. You know? But it's still a brilliant card. High low, 5-5. Five, five. Really nice shooting, really nice pace, insane passing and dribbling. Dribbling and passing absolutely out of this world. Probably be a hunter, probably, you know. Who else is that? We've got Marcus Camp Mark Cam Rashford. Let's see what I did there. Five star, four star, high medium. Pretty much immaculate pace, insane shooting. Eighty six balance in July. Obviously quite underwhelming for a ninety seven rate card. Like pace and shooting's good. Like, dribbling is still cast, but like, 86 balance. In July. It's a decent card. We have Leroy's centre forward. Arne, I'm, I'm going to stop. Five star, four star. Medium low sucks a bit, but... Yeah, this is a really nice card. Again, doesn't look 96 rated. Even his dribbling doesn't look like a 96 rated card. Still, though, I'd really like him, because... I put his 88 in when SBC after all these months. So to pack him back to put in my team would be very nice. Was Eden Hazard in... Eden Hazard was team one, wasn't he? I'm trying to remember who's new. Fede Valverde's definitely new. Four style, four... The thing is, he actually does play right wing back or like right mid and the three back in... Uh, I say it in game, in real life. High high is really nice. Four star, four star. Defending's really nice for a wing back as well. Physical's really nice as well. Dribbling's insane. This is a really nice card. Real Madrid lacking in right backs. Yeah, they are, I guess, because like Carver Hall's not exactly usable. They've got the I mean left back you've got Gold Furl and Mendy, who's good enough like to start in July. So I, I don't know. I'm trying to remember who else is new, because I've seen the leaks, but Felipe is new as well. This card looks unreal. He's three star skill move sucks a bit, but I mean CDM you don't really care. Six foot three. Pace needs up in. But insane passing, insane dribbling, insane defending, insane physicals. This brilliant card. So it's Bartra Bartra's four star four star, that's a big dub. Cucurella called position change from left back to left wing back. I know he's a left mid in game, but he plays left back like the whole season for Brighton. So there's really no point. I would have seen I would have liked to see like a striker Cucurella, that would have been really nice. Obviously on his way to Man City as well, four star, four star, high medium. Defending's really nice, physical's really nice, dribbling's really nice. It's a really nice card. Was he the worst one? Am I just bugging or was it more? Okay, hero shapeshifters aren't in the game yet. So if you just search concepts. David, you know that. They've not updated its dynamic yet. Oh my god. Five star, five star. Six foot one. Dribbling's insane. Again, balance could be upped a bit, you know. Physicals are insane. Passing's insane. Shooting's insane. Pace's insane. That's an absolutely brilliant card. We'll have a look at Solskjaer's in games. Four star, four star. Decent could be better. Pace of immaculate shooting. Oh my days, that shooting. Oh, agility of balance. It's good, but it can't. Not agility of balance actually sucks for this stage of the game. Is that shooting and pace worth the risk for that agility and balance? Passing is actually quite mudded as well. Pace and shooting is brilliant. Agility and balance and passing is kind of mudded. What's the other one saying? The Cam Solskjaer. Four star, four star as well. Dribbling's insane. 
Passing's really nice. Shooting's still good. I think, actually, the cam's a bit better. Pace and shooting on the right wing, left wing, the winger, is out of this world. But the passing and dribbling suck for this stage in the game. Whereas on here, the passing and dribbling are almost out of this world, but shooting and pace is still viable, I guess. It's a weird one. Again, I think it just depends on the state of your team. Did we get any others? I forgot he was coming. Because you can't search by heroes as well. Let me... Let me look at Foot Sheriff's Twitter. I don't think there was a league in one, was there? Oh, let me just look at Footbin, sorry. Yeah, there's Serie A, MLS, La Liga, Bundesliga. Nice. So Serie A, it was Mario Gomez. Mario Gomez. Centre back for some absurd reason. Four star, four star at centre back's nice, you know, six foot two, medium high, it's decent. Shooting's unreal for a centre back. He's prime Ronald Koeman over here. His defending's immaculate apart from slide tackle and standing tackle. I mean, that interception's head and accuracy and defensive awareness is absolutely unreal. But the standing tackle and slide tackle's only average for the stage in the game. Physicals are really nice. Surely that's a downgrade on dribbling. I'm looking at his hero. Surely that's got to be it. Yeah, his hero's captain's card has 88 agility, 84 balance. Why downgrade his dribbling? It's a plus one overall on dribbling. He's got better reactions, better ball control, better dribbling and better composure. But why downgrade his agility and balance? What's the actual point? His passing's one better as well. Shooting's four worse, but you can understand that because it's the centre back. And pace is what. His pace is worse, his shooting's worse, his agility and balance is worse. This I, I know it's I know it's a position change, but still, he hasn't just forgotten how to shoot. I mean it is he already had ninety nine head and accuracy, but it's let me do the maths. It's a plus forty seven defending boost. Compared to his regular hero card. Let me check this. I right, we'll just go on a footbin and look at them. Compared to his regular hero card, it's a plus fifty-two defending boost. But like, look, look at that. Long passing and curves better on his captains. Sprint speed better on his captains. Shooting's better on his captains, and jumping balance. What's the point? But then again, he did get fifty-four interceptions. So you know, who's a real winner? Hang on. Oh, I've done something. I've done something better with it. So. I'll have a look at the other ones. Who was it? It was Freddy Lundberg, Fernando Marientes, and Rick and, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick. Rick. Freddy Lundberg already down at 280k. Four star, five stars. Nice. And... The weird upgrades, man. It's an overall upgrade, apart from he's lost one sprint speed, which is the most random <laughs> stat change ever. Why have they upgraded every single other stat? Which thought, you know what? Downgrade his sprint speed by one. <laughs> What's the point? Four star, five star is really nice as well, especially for a cam. Yeah, shooting, shooting's real nice. It's a real, ni real nice card. MLS, though. Fernando Morientes, call position change. Like, literally, just put two position change items on him. I know it's about the upgrade. And he has got 16 passing from it. Okay, it's it's an overall upgrade. Four star, five star as well. Surely his main card wasn't that. Yeah, four star, four star. Shooting's real nice. Passing's actually... No, that's dribbling, sorry. Passing's real nice. It's a nice card. Then Rickon. Rickon Morty. Again, an overall upgrade. 
it's good. Actually, no, he's act. He's already seventy five. He, this card stinks at this stage of the game. Like average shooting, average eighty four sharp long passing, eighty six balance, ninety agility. This card absolutely stinks. Uh, but why did Mario Gomez get? No, Mario Gomez isn't even that way because yeah, he's a centre back. Okay, he doesn't need dribbling. Freddie Munberg, why downgrade his? Why downgrade his sprint speed by one, and then just don't downgrade us any single of the stats? That's really weird. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure comment down below which shapeshifter or hero would you like to pack the most. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.